But here in Charlotte, CMPD says they're investigating an armed robbery where the suspects are a six and 12 year old. Officials say it happened in Southwest Charlotte, an apartment complex on Diamond Creek Circle near Tryon 485. Police say the two threatened a woman and stole her cell phone. Wake up Charlotte's Richard Devane now live for us this morning with more on how police are advising parents to talk to their kids following this incident. Richard. Yeah, good morning, Ben. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Basically, police are saying this morning that this is a troubling trend, one that has to stop, and they can't be every place at one time. So they're asking everyone out there who has children, knows little children, to t keep an eye on them, especially as we get closer to the summer months. We're dealing with juveniles every single day, property crimes, violent crimes. And when I say juveniles, I mean kids. I mean ages 11, 12, 13, 14 years old. And it seems like they just keep getting younger and younger. Police asking parents to pay attention to what their children are doing after an incident which happened at an apartment complex in Southwest Charlotte Sunday morning. A 12-year-old and 6-year-old asked to borrow a woman's cell phone. When she offered the phone to the children, they took off running. The woman chased after them. That's when they say the 12-year-old pointed this BB gun at the victim. If that female would have been armed, all right, we could have been dealing with something really, really tragic here. We could have been dealing with a 12-year-old who maybe lost their life. Police say youth violence continues to spike in the Queen City, and it will take everyone to help stop it. Everybody's trying, but we can't we can't grab hold of them 24 hours a day. So it really, it's got to be the family. It's got to be the community at large. Yeah, now that 12 year old was charged with armed robbery as well as damage to property. As for that six year old, police say that he's too young to be charged. They also said he was a victim of his circumstances. And um, police say at this time they want everyone to know that this is a growing trend that only a community working together can somehow stop, starting with those parents. We're right here in Charlotte. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.